Have you lost a lot of weight in a short period of time and are wondering how to train your body now? Watch this. Our first caller is Greg from New York. What's up, Greg? How can we help you? Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. All right. Good. Thank you for uh, for taking my call and uh, all the uh, knowledge you guys put out there for us. Oh, good deal. How can Thank we help you. you, man? All right. So i um, 47. I had uh, gastric bypass surgery. Actually, I had gastric sleeve surgery in September. i um, down almost 90 pounds now. I've been going to the gym since as soon as I got clearance, which was uh, late October. Um, I'm just at a point now I just want to try to build as much muscle without, you know, burn as much fat without losing the muscle because that's where I could see the difference. I could see it, you know, the arms are shrinking, everything shrink. You know, my arms are looking smaller because I'm losing so much fat, but I want to burn that muscle. But I also want to increase my cardio uh, so I can do things like go ride a bike for 40 miles if I want to. So I was just trying to find the best thing I don't, you know, when I was training, when I was younger, it was all based on that old Arnold Schwarzenegger book, you know, the encyclopedia of bodybuilding That's and a great book. things have changed so much since then. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the focus now, before you had the surgery, were you active at all? I was fairly active. My job actually has me in the, in the field a lot. So there are days I would, you know, go walk or four, you know, walk up four or five story buildings. Yeah. And so walk let's talk about Let's talk about the conflicting goals first. Yeah, well, so, so Greg, yeah. so I, I've worked with um, quite a few people who've had gastric sleeve or gastric bypass uh, procedures. So have I. And the, the weight loss is fast and furious, but the, the challenge is how do we – is is the psychological challenge, I should say, is I'm losing weight quickly, so I want to do everything else fast as well. Don't do that. You want to take your time, allow your body to build itself up. The most important thing you can do right now – is build muscle and strength. It's more important than anything else because the challenge is going to be not losing muscle and not having a big metabolism <clears throat> slowdown. So the majority of your your workouts should center around strength training. Two or three days a week, full body, focus on getting stronger, train with perfect form. Don't train to failure. Train, of course, with appropriate, you know, good technique. And start there. As far as stamina is concerned, I would just stick to walking for now, and I wouldn't push the cardio until the strength and muscle start to feel quite substantial. You got to give yourself some time because what's going to happen is you're going to lose all the weight very quickly, right? So if you've already lost, you said, 90 pounds, right. you're going to keep losing very fast, and that's going to make you want to kick it into gear with more and more activity. Well, especially in his situation yeah. where I'm, I'm sure he's very low calorie, and you're also, uh, if you start, doing something like an endurance sport uh it, it, your your body's just going to pare down muscle it's it, it's just, it's already doing that yeah it's doing that already right. so you you're are you're already like a challenge client with when it comes to holding on to muscle mm -hmm. uh greg do you have maps anabolic uh no i don't okay we're going to send that to you because that's exactly uh right. yeah that's exactly what i have you and then are you working with a nutritionist um the hospital had given me one that we had to speak to but i'm not I wasn't crazy about her, so I haven't been working with a nutritionist you, on my own now. Are you able to find another one? Um, I was going to look, start looking around and try to find one, you know, locally that I can speak to. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I would, con I would continue working with um, uh, somebody who's going to help you with nutrition, but you need to focus on building muscle. I wouldn't focus on anything yeah. else right now. Yep. And give yourself some time. the The fat loss is happening quickly, mm -hmm. but right. the fitness gains, the strength gains, the body composition changes aside from fat loss are going to happen much slower. So don't confuse the two, right? Don't confuse the fast weight loss with, oh my God, I'm, uh, everything's progressing so quickly. It's not really the same thing. The, the quick weight loss is coming from the dramatic reduction in calories, sure, but right. the, the fitness is going to take some time. If you do this right, you're going to dramatically improve your ability to maintain these results and not get a lot of the negative effects that some people get from uh, you know these types of procedures. If you try to drive it even faster, with excessive cardio, lots of calorie burn, that kind of stuff, you're going to amplify the negative side effects and increase your risk of gaining the weight back later on. And it is possible. Here's another thing, too. There's a big myth that you know getting these procedures results in, in permanent weight loss. It's not the case. I've, I've seen uh, several people gain the weight back afterwards through you know actually pushing these kind of bad behaviors. So focus on strength and muscle. That should be your primary focus right now. And then for activity, just stick to walking. That's 100% where I would go. And Adam talked about MAPS Anabolic. That's the perfect program. Follow uh, that perfect. one for yeah. now. Yeah, totally. Because yeah, like I would do like 10, we could do like 10 minutes on the treadmill before I work out and maybe 10, 15 minutes on the bike afterwards. Um, 
So I didn't want to, I don't want to push it too much. I am supposed to ride a 40 mile five borough bike tour in May. So I was kind of trying to why? prepare for that. Yeah, do, we why, have, why, Greg, do we have to do that? Yeah. Why, why'd you do, why'd you sign up for that? I just signed up. It was a bunch of people who were signing up together. So it was just something, a yeah. goal. Gr- to, to hey, work. Greg, if you're my client, I, I, if you were my client and you allowed me to direct you, I'd say no. Hey, Greg, I'm going to pretend oh. like I'm your mom right now, right? If all, <laughs> your, if all your friends signed up to jump off a bridge, would you do the same? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, don't just, do it, Greg. Just not, na- just not now. It's not that we can't in the future. It's that right. what is best for you right now is like what Sal said is to completely focus on building muscle. You are going to lose body fat. That is happening. Like and it's happening very fast. And and you focusing on building muscle until you get to a place where you're very content and happy with like your weight, with your muscle mass, then we could talk about setting like cardio type goals. But okay. trying to do that while you're also trying not to lose muscle is going to be sending a competing signal. And it's even more important with you than the average person because I know that your calorie intake is so low. And that's part of why the weight is coming off so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sign up for any events because, okay, so here's yeah. here's something that's happening right now, Greg. And I, I understand this. I, like I said, Put I've, in the form too, by the way. I've, I've gone through this myself at times. And I've also seen lots of clients go through this. Because you you made the decision to get the surgery, and I'm assuming that was a, a decision you thought out, you, you you was very thoughtful, right? You thought about yeah. it. Yeah, pond- yeah, a long time I thought about it, yeah. You, exactly. You pondered it. I mean, surgery is a big decision. So you did that. You finally did it. So you made that step. You're now seeing lots of weight loss. You're in a very motivated state of mind. And your state of mind is going to make you want to sign up for races, marathons, bike rides. Right. You're going to want to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Fight the urge. Pretend like you're in your normal state of mind. Whatever you're going to do now is what you're going to have to do forever. The, the racing is a, it's the worst possible mm-hmm. thing you can sign up for right now. I would stay away from all that stuff. Give yourself a year or two yeah. of slowly you building build your body. You want to build the body. Yeah. Just focus on whatever is going to promote yeah, it's not, it's not a race. It's just like a tour. Yeah. But yeah, I hear what you're saying. I understand. Doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. you're, you're going to look. Yeah. When's the last time, I ask you a question, when's the last time you rode 40 miles on a bike? Probably about five years ago when I tried it once before and I made it like 30 miles before I had. Yeah, fuck, weight fuck that, Greg. You're not allowed to do that. No, yeah. so put, it, put it, put it, put it, put him in the forum too, Doug. Greg, are you on Facebook? Yes. Okay, do me a favor and and request access to the Mind Pump private forum. We're gonna give you free access okay. to that too, and I'm gonna. I want to keep an eye on you. I don't trust. I don't trust you're not going to sign up for some crazy shit in the next year. You're going to start feeling. No, that was the only thing I had planned. <laughs> okay. All yeah. right. And I and I, I would love to hear you check in with us. Just let us know how your progress is doing. If you if you comment in the forum, you tag one of us or all of us. We'll we'll, we'll make sure we see the post. We'll interact with you and, and any help that we can give you along your path. I really want to keep an eye on you as you go through this because I know I like Sal. I've trained a lot of clients. And this is all three of us have because we all worked at a, a gym that was directly across from a place that did these surgeries. So very, very familiar with training clients in your case and we just want to help you out as much as we can. Yeah. So and by, by the way, with, with MAPS Anabolic, there's a pre-phase. I want you to do the pre-phase for about three or four months before you move to phase one, okay? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know this is just the tool and it's not something that's – I know it can come back. I'm, you know, I have that, that mindset. So yeah. I know this is just the tool to help me get where I need to be. So, but I appreciate all the help and all the uh, the tools you guys are going to help yeah, me. Yeah, with. That's right, you and, got us. Yeah, and congratulations, man. You're, you're yeah, already doing you. a great job. You know, just all you got to yeah. do is temper yourself, be kind to yourself, and think of yeah. like you're building a really good house, and it starts with a really good long foundation. Long term, think long term now. Right, right. All right, all right, Greg. Th- we'll, thanks for calling we'll, in. Yeah. We'll see you in the I forum, brother. I'll talk to you soon. Right. Bye bye. I'm just going to guess because his name is Greg and his accent. He's Italian. I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> He's from uh, what? Staten New York. Island, yeah. Right? yeah, you know, you can tell you appreciate me cussing at him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can, yeah, you can give him the real deal. That's why I told him I said, I'm gonna be yeah. like your mom because yeah. I know you listen to your mom. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, no, you know it. This, you know what's tough about this is like once you finally make that decision and you see this stuff happening. You want to jump on everything. And yeah. so it makes sense that he signed up for a 40-mile ride. And it makes sense that he's like, I want to do everything possible to make this right. happen even faster. It, you're seeing all this progress. I yeah. mean, it is motivating. But yeah, to be able to pull yourself back and just try and restore and, and, and build the body right now, yep. that's everything. Yeah. You know, we didn't we didn't address this part either because it, it didn't come up as a concern from him. But a lot, I, this does become a concern, whether it's now or later, is when you lose that much, the, the loose skin. 
one of the things that will mitigate how much loose skin you have, it's inevitable you're going to because you drop so fast, yeah. but building muscle right now and focused on that- It'll help. Yeah, it'll definitely help. Yeah, it'll yeah. help mm -hmm. versus if you were to get on cardio and, and lose even faster than yeah. what you're already oh, yeah. losing- then your your the loose skin is going to accelerate. It's yeah. right, even worse. Right? Yep, yep, totally. But yeah, building is because the the other thing too to consider with something like this is nutrient deficiencies. Your body's absorbing nutrients differently. Supplementation becomes more important. So yeah. I'm glad you brought up the dietitian because oh, yeah. uh, that's very important because you can lose lots of weight, but you're now you're not absorbing nutrients the way you were before, and you often see nutrient deficiencies as a result. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.